So when it comes to emergency preparedness and response, it is always important that we identify organizations, identify all foreseeable emergencies that can potentially impact on their operations and plan adequately for them by putting in place arrangements that will mitigate the consequence of these emergencies when they occur. And as part of the preparation, you need to carry out emergency drills or exercises that will enable workers to be familiar with actions they need to take in order to safeguard their health and safety. So this template does exactly that. It helps users to effectively plan, execute, log, and measure performance on, on their emergency exercises. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Now we have the approved list where users must provide the list of all foreseeable emergencies okay as per their risk assessment they should know the types of emergencies that can potentially affect them and then make sure that they have the they plan the exercises that are relevant for those drills so as you can see we have spill incidents and the exercises spill response and cleanup and we have various other ones so we've done some of the work for you but you would have to review it and make sure that the foreseeable emergencies and the exercises are all correct and adequate for your business. Now, over here, you provide the frequencies for this exercise. They are very, that's very, very important because throughout the entire year, you need to ensure that workers are familiar with the actions that they need to take. Over here, we have um, some codes that we'll be using like P to denote planned and D to denote drilled. And that these are things we are going to be using in the source data, which is a drill matrix Excel. This is the frequency table where users can, can review, but we've done the work for you weekly. That means 52 times in a year, bi-weekly 26 times, and yearly is simply once in a year. So we've done the work for you. Now the next is the source data. This is the drill matrix itself, and this is where you plan the drill. So you begin by making sure that you select the drill from the drop down and then you would plan for the drill now if the drill is weekly let me just bring back the data because we're going to need it now if you select from the drop down for example firefighting is weekly you need to now plan for the drill throughout the entire year because we have 52 weeks within the year okay now what that does is that over here you notice that once you select weekly the target now will be 52 times in a year if you selected for instance monthly the target is going to be 12 times in a year so for firefighting that is weekly so 52 times in a year and we've planned 52 times in a year and we haven't conducted any drill yet so beginning of the year as you um, as the week pass, passes by, you conduct your firefighting drill. And for example, assuming we started this beginning of the year, you realize that the drill begins to increase, the plan begins to count down, and then the 52 target is there. At the end, we're able to get a 66% completion or score. Assuming we carried out all the drill drills as expected you notice that over here we've conducted drill 52 times as per target so we've been able to achieve 100 percent so after you have as you conduct your drills it is always important that you keep a log of these drills 
as documentary evidence that you're indeed carrying out the drills or the exercises and also these are verifiable information during audits so over here you provide the date of the drill the exercises that was carried out the time it was initiated the time it was initiated the time it was completed the scenario of the of the exercise and any lessons that was learned and the persons in attendance if it is all workers you indicate as all workers so this is a very good um, input in terms of a database of what we really has have uh, the exercises you've carried out in a year which is very very good now after you are done planning your drills and executing them and keeping a log of those drills you need to now come to the data tab and you click on refresh all okay so refresh all always ensures that whatever has transpired so refresh all always ensures that whatever has transpired on here reflects on the dashboard so as you mean i want something to really change for example i still have some plant in there for firefighting okay and i come to the dashboard i click on refresh all you notice that the, the the data or the report updates so when it comes to firefighting we've carried out 27 drills and we've achieved 52 percent so you can tell the performance of the drill uh, the count of the total drills we've carried out the count of each drill and the percentage completion for each of them and overall score across board the idea is i want to achieve 100 percent now this is similar these are some of the graphs you use for the dashboard so you can use this table and graph as input for your management review meetings or your annual hs performance reports or any form of internal reporting just for workers to be aware that this is how we are progressing with the drills so this is a very exciting template to use is very very good for emergency preparedness and response and it will help you to effectively and systematically execute your drills keep records of them and then also share lessons and everything all right so thanks so much for your attention if you need this template feel free to get in touch if you want it customized do hesitate to get get in touch as well i'm always at your service thank you